Are you serious? Are you serious? The Secretary of Defense, James Mad Dog Mattis, has just threatened, literally threatened, North Korea. He said that North Korea's threat by detonating this hydrogen bomb would bring massive military response. Now, the question is, what does he mean? Here's his exact words, quote, North Korea threat would bring massive military response. Uh, the defense secretary, Jim Mad Dog Mattis, said today he shot back at North Korea's latest nuclear provocation with a blunt threat, saying the U.S. will answer any North Korean threat with massive military response a response both effective and overwhelming. While he said America does not seek total annihilation of the North Korean country, he added somberly, we have many options to do so. In a day that began with President Donald Trump calling North Korea an embarrassment to China and criticizing South Korea for its talk of appeasement, he ended with his Pentagon chief, delivering strong words of warning. The president's treasury uh, chief, Steve Muchen, said he would propose new sanctions for Trump to consider that would seek to cut off trade with North Korea. And Trump went further, writing then on Twitter that his administration was considering halting all trade with any country that does business with North Korea. Now that is serious because you know the Chinese do. Matter of fact, I mean, what? So this is a part of this is just Trump letting off some steam. Part of it is though calculated ramping up the threat that, that the United States is just about done with this North Korea issue. They're just about done with it. And so the administration has emphasized its pursuit of diplomatic solutions, knowing, of course, that potentially horrific cost of war with the North Koreans, but the decision to have Mattis deliver the public statement seems to suggest that this is an escalating crisis. In a brief statement to reporters outside the White House, the mad dog Mattis said the international community is unified in demanding the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula and that North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un should know that Washington's commitment to Japan and South Korea is unshakable. Now with General Joseph Dunford, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs at his side, the Secretary of Defense Mattis said any threat to the United States or its territories, including Guam or any ally, will be met with a massive military response, a response both effective and overwhelming. Those words alone were within the usual bounds of U.S. commentary on answering North Korea aggression, but he seemed to take it a step further with the reference to total annihilation. Now, the mad dog, who did not take questions from reporters, said the president wanted to be briefed on each of what Secretary of Defense Mattis called many military options for action against North Korea. And he did not mention any specific options, but his comments suggested that they discussed everything from a show of force, such as an overflight of the peninsula by U.S. bombers, to the latest war plan for destroying North Korea's weaponry and eliminating its leadership, regime change. So Kim Jong-un should take heed of the United Nations Security Council's unified voice. All members unanimously agreed on the threat that North Korea is posing and remain unanimous in their commitment to the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula because we are not looking to the total annihilation of the country, uh, but Mattis says, but as I said, we have many options to do so. And of course, there's more 
that, that was discussed as well. I'm going to bring out all of this information on the North Korean crisis and on Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma and the Yellowstone uh, danger zone, the earthquake crisis in Idaho and how it's affecting the Yellowstone super volcano. And we had an asteroid, folks, just now discovered it and it's going to go by the earth. It's going to part your hair if you have any. And I'm telling you, it, we didn't have this asteroid yesterday, but now we do. It was just discovered. It's asteroid 2017 QB35 and it's going to come it's going to come closer to us than the moon. It's going to miss us by about 200,000 miles. But this thing we didn't even know it existed. It's a small 5 meter rock. We just spotted it and it's whizzing by that close. Folks, we're in this galactical plane that things are getting more and more and more dangerous out there as it relates to asteroids. We're going to have a deep impact. We're going to have a deep impact. I mean, are you serious? The Bible says we're going to have two of them at least. What? 